Hello, hello. Welcome to KimLazarusPub.com. I thought I'd do a little fantasy football update or a little review, a little analysis, whatever you want to call it. I've been really focusing on the movie reviews and I think it's about time that I start talking a little bit more about fantasy football. I owe it to you. So let's talk about some of the things that are going on now in, in the football world. One of the major things, Aaron Rodgers got hurt. So what does that mean? How does that impact you as far as a fantasy football player? Well, it depends on what players you own, of course. Uh, Jordy Nelson, uh, Devontae Adams, Ty Montgomery, um, Aaron Jones. You know, what's going to happen with all those players? I don't know. It's kind of up in the air. Um, you might, if you have some of those players, you might be looking to offload them. Um, and Or, if you don't own them, you could be looking to buy low on them because you would think if they don't have a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers throwing them the ball, their value should depreciate a little bit, right? But you never know. We've seen bad quarterbacks, or I shouldn't say bad quarterbacks, but we've seen backup quarterbacks be very successful and uh, the receivers still continue to score a lot of points within fantasy football. So that's kind of up in the air for me. Um, if you could buy low on some of those players, I think you, you should. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily sell low if you have one. If the offer's right, go for it, but you know, that that's kind of a hard one right there, those players. But Aaron Rodgers. So I would immediately be looking in my league, and of course I've already done this, is look at my league and see who has Aaron Rodgers. And immediately, what kind of running backs or what kind of quarterbacks do I have? Do I have a quarterback that I could trade to that person in order to, to better myself in another position? So look around your league. Look to see who has Aaron Rodgers and see who their backup quarterback is. I am finding though that a lot of the um, a lot of the teams have two good running or quarterbacks, two strong quarterbacks. So it's hard for me to make a trade. In one league, he had Aaron Rodgers and Deshaun Watson. Who would have thought? You know, come here week five, week six. That or we're going into week seven. I guess it is whatever. Watson would be a stud that he is. So. No sense in trying to trade with that owner, although he lost Aaron Rodgers. He even started Watson last week. And the other one, he is Carson Wentz, um, who's having a pretty good year. So that, that owner isn't willing to trade with me. But there might be an owner in your league who is willing. And if you have a decent quarterback that you could trade that person, you might be able to better yourself in another position. So I think that's one thing that uh, I wanted to share with you. Another one, Ezekiel Elliott. We could talk about him each and every week. Every week some news comes out about him and every week I try and trade for him. I'm trying to bet that you know he might not get suspended this year and I'm trying to get ahead of it so I'm offering owners all the time for Ezekiel Elliott saying hey you know I got some other positions that might help you take a chance on it in case he does get suspended and then you're not impacted. So there, there's, a, there's a way to play that as well. Um, for me who doesn't have Ezekiel Elliott I'm trying to buy low on him um, and, and trying to predict the fact that maybe he won't be suspended and hopefully play off the, the thought process of the other owner that they think it will, that he will get suspended. If you have Ezekiel Elliott, that's the other thing too. I mean, if you, it, it depends on what you believe. I do believe at some point he's going to get suspended. Now, is he going to get suspended this year or next year? If it's next year, it's not really helping us out this year. But if it is this year, it's going to be very close to the fantasy playoffs. So you're really gambling there. If you own him, you might look to try and trade him at some point. If somebody's offering you enough, enough to get you to the next level. So by that, I mean if you are if you need help in another position as a receiver or quarterback or you had Aaron Rodgers or something like that and you get enough back to help you this year, I would do it. Now, the catch is if you're in some sort of keeper leagues, which is what I play in a lot of the keeper leagues. So um, that's the catch-22 there because if he gets suspended this year, at least you can still keep him next year and vice versa. So um, there are two big pieces of news that are going on in, in the NFL right now that I think can impact your fantasy team. I think the biggest play that you have is if you don't have Aaron Rodgers, look for a team that got impacted by his injury and see if you can improve your team by trading them your backup quarterback. There's tons of quarterbacks out there that you could stream and this owner might have put all his eggs in Aaron Rodgers' basket. Ezekiel Elliott's a, a tougher situation to play with, but 
you might find some opportunities out there. You might find some owners that you can deal with. As you can tell, I love the trade. That's all I do. I, I analyze trades throughout every league all the time. So if you have any questions about trades or anything like that, let me know. Put it in the comments. As I always say, don't just tell me player for player. I need to know the full roster so uh, you can determine if the trade's right for what team. So thanks for tuning in. That's a quick short on um, fantasy football. Tonight I am drinking Heretic Beer, the Evil Cousin. So, this is a little foreshadowing because this beer has a little bit of history for me. And I want to share it with you, but I'm not going to do it tonight. You're going to have to tune in tomorrow night to find out a little bit about this beer um, from Heretic Brewing. I like it, and hopefully you like my story behind it. Alright, thanks for watching.